From a macro perspective, I don't think will have a huge impact, neither on government bonds. I think, um, keep in mind that we haven't seen much of an impact already in the flows. The, keys, the key aspect is the large stock of uh, bonds that they're holding, and that's an important backstop for Italy and for the rest of the euro area. Uh, in the past, when things got really ugly in 2011, 2012, you saw how the non-resident bondholders will sell those bonds. Now, a big chunk of those bonds are with the central bank, and the ECB is going to reinvest them. And it's a, it's a big size. It's close to 30% of those bonds. So that, I think, it's helpful and should keep sovereign, sovereign spreads and sovereign bonds uh, a bit on check. Antonio, don't you think that he, uh, his comments on Italy, and he really went at length to downplay the whole Italian situation. He completely poo-pooed the idea of there being any risk of a redenomination, even though a lot of the derivatives have actually accounted for that. Uh, it, it just seems a bit surprising how uh, complacent he is about some of those risks. I think, uh, in a way, it's normal. It's politically very complicated. So I think there are two points to be made on that. So the risks of these uh, political problems in Italy are high and will remain elevated. And that one has to recognize it. And actually, the Italian spreads speak for themselves, and probably they will not tighten much from here until the situation is clarified. So that's the first point. The risk is there, it's meaningful, and could have an impact. Secondly, should the ECB or will the ECB do something about it, buy more or buying less of Italy? I think the answer to that is no. And I think probably that's what he meant, that the Italian situation should not and will not deviate the ECB from its laid out monetary policy path. You know, he doesn't seem that concerned about Italian financial instability, but what kind of data do you think between now and then, he left himself some wiggle room, what kind of data between now and then could potentially prompt the ECB to delay shutting off the taps, as it were. Right. Um, you're right. I think things could go worse. And one of the aspects could make things worse is trade. Italy is one. Let's say if the Italian situation and politics will worsen, and the new government actually does take uh, a very expansionary fiscal policy against the European fiscal compact. That will be one risk, and you know one cannot dismiss it. But the second one, um, and bigger, I think, is the risk of uh, a trade war with the European Union. I think the European Union policymakers are a bit too dismissive about that chance, and it could very well be that uh, tariffs on European cars are coming on something else. And that is a first order of magnitude for export-oriented countries, including Italy. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.